Hey guys, Kinsey here, and I'm here again with Carly! She's back! Yay! <laughs> and this time we're talking about our top five favorite retro Disney games. And it was originally going to just be top five Disney, but let's be honest, there's some good ones that are newer games, but they're not going to knock any of these out. No. So, <laughs> and we wanted to do Disney games because not only do we share a love of video games together, but we just love Disney! <laughs> Hence the ears. Yep. We've been to Disneyland together, and we have a trip planned to go again, yes. and it's gonna be amazing. So, this was the perfect video to do together, obviously. Thank you so much for having me back. <laughs> of course, anytime. And Carly's gonna get us started off with the first game. Yes, yes, ladies' choice. Okay, so I'm super excited to be here, and I'm super excited to introduce my very favorite all-time Disney game, which is... DuckTales! Woo! We had to. We had to. Okay, um, so DuckTales is a Capcom game, and it was released on the NES, and it was also released on the Game Boy. So 1990 and 1989 for those two games. Super, super fun. Generally well-reviewed, mm -hmm. liked by everybody. I mean, let's be honest, it's a super fun game. My favorite thing about the game is that it's a non-linear gameplay, which mm -hmm. is not super typical, especially for these older NES, Super NES, Disney mm -hmm. games. Um, so you're playing as Scrooge, which is super awesome, armed with nothing but your cane, which <laughs> really comes in handy. Yeah. You have to work your way through five different levels. Mm -hmm. So you're in like the Himalayas, Transylvania, the Amazon, you're on the moon. It's super cool. And... There's a total different level, though, to the gameplay because as you're working your way through these places, you might find out that there's something else that you need and you have to mm -hmm. go to one of those other levels to get it. Oh, there's a key that I need to get in here. I have to go back to Transylvania, whatever. Mm -hmm. Really fun. Um, also, for fans of the show, like I was when the game came out, I was I the, the we show. were the perfect <laughs> age for this show, you have to admit it. Um, you know, this game is super fun because you're going to see a lot of those same characters. Beagle mm -hmm. Boys, Launchpad, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Webby, they're all there. Um, some of the mini bosses, mm -hmm. like Magica Dispel, the witch chick, you know. Witch um, chick. Yes, yeah. witch chick. You she totally like, turns into that bird and like, she just hovers just too high for too long. <laughs> just, too, just too high for just too long, okay? Um, but it's really fun that you have the opportunity to not only play this game in a different style, going through at your own pace and your mm -hmm. own progression but also it's really cool to see a lot of those old characters from the game um it doesn't feel random or generic because mm -hmm. they really do pull from the source material it's awesome because they were able to take it a different path go mm -hmm. their own direction but but it was new it's like a new adventure so i really enjoy those um mm -hmm. also the icing on the cake is they re-released the game in yeah. 2013. So the remaster on the mm -hmm. Wii U, I played it, loved it. Um, it was beautiful. The graphics, so cute. <laughs> the best part about this one, though, is that they really expanded the storyline. Mm -hmm. So in the first one, just like a lot of those NES games, at the mm -hmm. beginning, they'll give you a little bit, oh no, something's going on, right? Scrooge, like needs more money <laughs> so he's oh, gonna no. go to all these places and get you know like new treasures that he wants to find um it's a lot more in-depth in this game mm -hmm. so it doesn't take away anything obviously from the original which is absolutely fantastic it's a great game great gameplay and you can also play it on the game boy yeah. all three and the pogoing is so fun yeah it's pretty cool it's, pogo it's very it's rewarding fun. to like be able to pogo or like hit things with your cane you know old scrooge um, golf style golf style old, old rich man style <laughs> My number one dime. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but anyways, it had to be on this list. There mm -hmm. was no way to get around it. Um, it's fun today. If you haven't played it before, I mean, again, you can pick it up on the Wii U and mm -hmm. the Wii U, Wii U shop. It's really fun. It's oh, cheap totally. too. Check it out. And since you go to the moon, this is my segue. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> I see it. I can feel it. We're uh, sliding into our no, first beer. No. <laughs> I'm determined to find a beer that she likes. We'll see what happens. We'll see. But our first beer is by Ecliptic Brewing, one of my favorites. Um, I've definitely reviewed some of their stuff before on my channel, but this is Luna. It's a Kolsch-style ale. It's one of their fall seasonals. Um, do we got facts? We got facts. We got facts. I'm taking too long it's to find beer. them. Beer. It's <laughs> it's five percent alcohol by volume. They don't give me very much information. It's, it's a super cute can. It's I love their yes, art. Yes, okay. It's my favorite. Yeah. And since it's a Kolsch, it's all like super light and clear. Ooh. And cheers. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Okay. I sniffed it first. It doesn't have a ton of aroma. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 
Is it is it weedy? It's a is little it, weedy. Okay, yeah. so, okay. You like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Because it has kind of that. It's not yeah. disgusting. Yay! I wouldn't even go so far as to say I like it, but it's, you know. Okay, I'll take another sip. It's very, like, light and refreshing with a little bit of that, like, Belgian-y, wheaty flavor. I can definitely mm. pick up on the wheat hints. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Because a lot of times, for me, someone who doesn't have any beer experience, they make a lot of big promises on the can, and then I don't taste it. I don't think they deliver. <laughs> but if this one's supposed to be wheaty, they did it. <laughs> This, oh, all this says is this Kolsch style air ale shines bright with a golden hue, crisp flavor, and dry finish. It sure. does shine pretty bright. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> uh-uh. I've taken like six sips. You know what? That's pretty good. Let's cheers again. It's not bad. Yay! I, I will drink this. Oh, gosh. All right, and the next game is my favorite Ooh. Disney game. I just have so many memories with this. It's wonderful. It oh, I'm just I, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> and it is Chippendales Rescue Rangers yes. on the NES. I so loved good. this show. So just like Ducktales, this came out at like the perfect time. This was Capcom's second Disney game after Ducktales, and like God, I love this show. Gadget was my first yes. crush. Yes. <laughs> Gadget's super cute. Yeah. Okay. I feel like a lot of people's first crushes is like an anthropomorphic animal. And that's not even weird. <laughs> Most like, people's is like Robin Hood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. ooh to hey. lolly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now that's a series that needs a game. That's a different video. Totally but... different video. <laughs> <laughs> but Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, I have so many memories with it. And typically, it's funny, like, a lot of these games, my strongest memories are of the first, like, three levels. Absolutely. Because I didn't make it very far yes. all the time. <laughs> yes, especially the NES games. I oh, mean, yeah. no. And I remember I recently played this again on the Play Choice, and we got to new levels, and one of them I was like, I don't remember this. <laughs> We've gotten past like the, the point. casino. You made it to the casino. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew there was a casino, but I it's a mythical place. Yes, had where never fat seen it. Yes. But what's really cute about this as well is this game, the premise is it's just another mystery for them. Their neighbor Mandy has lost her kitten. Aw. She's and cute. so they're trying to find it. And it turns out that spoilers? Nah, it's pretty soon into the game. <laughs> yeah. Really soon. <laughs> that Fat Cat, which is the overarching bad guy in the Chippendale series, um, used the kitten as a decoy so he could kidnap Gadget because she's, like, hella smart and amazing. So he was like, I need someone to make my robot army. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Gadget. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Typical. Yeah. The, the whole setup, you know, mm -hmm. all of a sudden... She's there. She's gone. Yep. And of course, she's like, she wanted to scout out ahead. Dang it, Gadget! <laughs> Typical. Again, she's like the Velma. You know what I mean? Oh, she's yeah. like the smart one who really takes care of everything. Yeah. She's You awesome. know, you got Monterey Jack. He's the muscle. And he mm -hmm. shows up in the game, which is super yeah. cool when he shows up. You like find cheese and then he'll break through walls for you because yeah. he's like, ah, cheese. And he runs through. Typical. And then like, because you, it's, oh! This is two-player! Also, that's awesome, yes, because yes. a lot of these, like, older Disney games are just single-player. But, like, you can play two-player, because there's Chip and Dale. <laughs> Which is pretty amazing, and when we were playing together, mm -hmm. it was really fun, because, yeah. you know, it's like the, the comic hijinks, jumping on each other, knocking each other down, when you're trying to hit an enemy and you accidentally... Throw a box at <laughs> Throw a box at your, you know, yeah. your comrade. It's pretty cool. It um, was super fun. Uh, Zipper shows up, too, and that yeah. was really cool. He's got, like, an awesome gimmick. Yeah, he's your invincibility power, so you're invincible, and he's killing enemies. So. Which is pretty awesome. Zipper's awesome. Yeah, he was really awesome. It's a super fun game. I love it. I love that it's two-player. You very mm -hmm. rarely, again, um, with these older retro Disney games, get to play as two players. So it's kind of refreshing and fun. Yeah, definitely. So... Chippendale, one of my absolute favorite Disney games. Yes. <laughs> and next up is a beer. I, I know. They came back so quickly. But surprise, it's not a beer. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm going to go back to the first one. Do some comparisons. And you're Gosh, like, no, it's... You know what? It's still pretty good, but it is a beer. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a beer. So next up is a cider. Yes. And this is called uh, Little Apples. And this is the 2016 version by Art and Science. 
I love the bottle and the oh, art. The it's bottle's really so cute. Pretty. It's really pretty. And I thought Little Apples was perfect because you throw apples in like a lot of these a games. A lot of Disney games. <laughs> yeah, retro Disney, Disney games. games. You're collecting them. You're throwing them in Chippendale Rescue Rangers. You mm-hmm. pick up huge apples that are like uh-huh. twice as big as the boys. Yeah. So, and then really they get cute. all sweaty when they try to throw them at you. Yeah. It's really cute. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> 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 but this one doesn't tell me too much. I don't think. Oh, made from foraged crab apples... Native yeast fermented and aged in barrels for 10 months. I thought crab ac- apples were like super sour. Like you wouldn't want to grab a crab apple. Crab apple off a tree. <laughs> you don't want no Oops. crab apples. Uh, but I didn't think. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll find out. We're going to find out. And this was like artist and cider. This was like a $20 bottle. So let's see if it tastes like Whoa. $20. Oh, and... Carly brought over these awesome retro Disney cups just yes, for this. Yes, cheers. All right, $10 worth of cider in my cup. Ooh. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's like not too fruity. Really crisp. It almost it's crisp. tastes like a Granny Smith. Like It does. It's like tart, but dry. I agree, but it's not too dry. No. It's not too dry. It's not too sweet. It seems like a nice semi-sweet. Mm. Semi-sweet, semi-dry. Honestly, it tastes really good. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you, $20 bottle. I, <laughs> when I Thank bought you. it, like, I mm. bought it, first of all, based on the name, because it's the little apples, and then I went up to the guy at the bottle shop, and I was like, all right, this is a $20 <laughs> bottle Level cider. with me. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and he's like, it's worth it. Like, okay. okay. Um, okay. Actually, it really is. It's very refreshing. It tastes mm-hmm. great. Mm. Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, I love the bottle. It's a super cute bottle. Great styling, great look. You know, for $20, I mean, Ooh. sometimes you pay a little bit more to get a different flavor. And mm-hmm. I can say that as someone who does like to try lots of different types of cider, this is kind of a special flavor. Yeah. It's not anything that I am i can't even think right now. What would I compare it to? I think it's because it's barrel aged. I it thought it was that, the like, crab apples. <laughs> crab apples. It, oh, it says... Mr. Owl, how many sips does it take to get to bottom of a cider bottle? It takes $20. That's yeah, what it like, takes. Yeah, like, it takes $20. <laughs> It'll be gone. And last time that it took me to earn the 20 mm. It's good. I like it. Oh, Thank you. Good. Thank mm-hmm. you for thinking of me. Of course. I was like, well, I'm going to have to get a cider. And then I when I saw the little to. apples, I was like, well, that's perfect. Yes, <laughs> do it. All right. And next up is another game. Yes. And this one is the Lion King. Yes, the Lion King. We're going to talk more about the SNES version, but I I have nostalgia craze for the Game Gear version. She loves Game Gear. Yeah. She literally, like, she always has her Game Gear on. I'm like, it's girl, so how, much, good. how many batteries do you have? <laughs> like, so many batteries. <laughs> I have, like, the Game Gear case and then just fucking pockets and pockets of batteries. Pockets and pockets of batteries. She's are, a weird one. Are that, like, battery case that clipped to your belt? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's she, how you get all the ladies. That, that, no, yeah. <laughs> yes, they're just crawling. Um, well, this one is another one that came out, again, at the perfect point in our childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, right on the coattails of the Disney film, the animated feature. This came out in 1994. Fantastic game. Again, generally really well reviewed oh, yeah. by people. They enjoy it on um, SNES, mm-hmm. on Game Gear. It's a really fun action game. Yeah. Um, it's different from the other two in that it's, well, it's completely linear. Yeah. Like you, and it's not multiplayer. It's a single yeah. player game. So you are Simba. Mm-hmm. What I remember most as a kid is being able to kind of reenact those first, you know, yeah. few minutes of the Lion King when he's singing, I can't wait to be king. Oh, that the music good. is so great. And so you've got this young Simba working his way through the, the 10 mm-hmm. levels that are in this game, um, trying to, you know, kind of find his place in the world. Mm-hmm. So you're starting in the Pride Lands, working your way through the Pride Lands, the Elephant Graveyard, and it really does stay close to the source material, yeah. which is super cool. You see the hyenas, you see Zazu, all of the same animals mm-hmm. that were in those big opening sequences, those big numbers in the movie. Mm-hmm. They all show up, which is super awesome. And then, of course, things take a turn for the worse. Spoiler <laughs> alert, but yes, uh, something happens to Simba's dad. We all know who's behind that. And there's this huge stampede. Mm-hmm. And that's a really amazing point in the game that I remember mm-hmm. when I was young, just being like, whoa, what is this? What is yeah. happening now? Because now Simba is facing you and you're controlling him, moving him left to right. And the stampede is coming mm-hmm. at you. That's what separates the Super Nintendo version from Absolutely. the Game Gear or the Genesis version. It's just like, you get that sweet, sweet it's, mode it's seven. It's super awesome. It's Different. like the best. It is yeah. super different, though. You don't see yeah. it very often. Um, and then after that, of course, Simba's exile. He's out, mm-hmm. right? And we get a little bit of Hakuna Matata all of a sudden. <sighs> you know, he's got a mane. He's grown <laughs> up. He's really cute. <laughs> At, 
for me at that point, the game kind of changes. Mm -hmm. As I, when I was a kid, I didn't really get to those levels yeah. because again, the stampede was pretty tough oh. and the levels before that, the, the monkey maze, oh, super like stressful. Swinging on the monkeys and then you have to like roar at the pink and it's, oh. It's a whole thing. It's a real thing, okay? So, again, being a kid, you only have so much time to play before your mom's like, get to bed, turn that thing off, you know? And it's like, are you kidding me right now? I have to go back and do this all again? Yep. So, the later levels are not something that I had a whole lot of experience with mm -hmm. as a child, but as I got older, of course, I played them. Mm -hmm. I felt like there was a kind of a change when Simba became an adult. It got yeah. a little less close, I guess, yeah. with the source material. There's like jaguars. Oh, I'm in a mall of jaguar. I'm in a roar to jaguar. <laughs> okay. But, but there mm -hmm. is a big payoff because at the end, it is so rewarding to work Spoiler your way alert. up, work your way up Pride <laughs> Rock, right? Mm -hmm. And knock that dirty, dirty bastard scar off the edge. Gosh, it just feels so good. You know, it so does. Good. It feels but so good. I know like when he's an adult, they don't really have that much source material because no. he's not an adult for that long no. in a movie, so they had to do what they could. But they should have put in that, like, can you feel the love tonight, like, sex tumble level. Totally. There was, there, <laughs> spoiler alert, there's no lion sex in this game. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> We're wondering where it is. But overall, super well-reviewed, um, a good seller, made money, mm -hmm. really enjoyable, pick it up today. It is still challenging. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I personally find about that game is, you really have to have a lot of like great timing, yeah. great timing. It's really weird for a lion to be dangling precariously from ledges so often, but mm -hmm. it does happen in this game and you're jumping back and forth from tiny rock to tiny rock a lot, especially in level seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. So you got to get ready for it. But honestly, it's a game that you could play from beginning to end in 30, 40 minutes mm -hmm. all the way. If you kind of know where you're going. It's awesome. It is awesome. Super fun. Yeah. And next up is going to be Castle of Illusion, yes. starring Mickey Mouse. Yes. Oh, this game is so good. Super fun. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> and I like it because, like, I mean, he's Mickey Mouse. You have so much source material to take from that you can make up your own thing. It really doesn't matter at that point. Like, Mickey Mouse yeah, can do totally. anything. <laughs> it's really fun, too, because you get to see some hints of Disneyland. Like, there's mm. one whole area that looks just like it's a small world from Disneyland, which yeah. is super awesome. Yeah, it's like the toy level, and it has, like, wooden soldiers and stuff. Yeah, but really it's cute. totally, it's a it's small so world. It's so cute. It's so cute. We love it. <laughs> um, this game I love because it shows off what the Genesis can do. You it know what I mean? Awesome. It looks so good. He, he even has, like, this is where they start doing, like, the idol animations. And just him walking, he's so goddamn jolly. God, he's, he's so like... cute. Oh, he is so cute. He has a ton <laughs> of cute little emotions that he's mm -hmm. doing, like, oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh, that's cute. Or I'm getting bored. Yeah. Like, super cute. But also just, like, the layering of the backgrounds mm -hmm. and how, how much depth there is. You know, yeah. it, it really is a huge jump again that shows how uh, these games evolve so much mm -hmm. from system to system and how much more they're able to do with the new technology. Yeah. This game just it looks amazing. I think the music is a little muddy to, to me. Yeah. But I mean I mean I know Genesis music is normally like amazing. This is pretty good. Pretty good. But the I think the visuals is really where this game takes the cake. And like the level design is really fun. I like yeah. it how in like even the toy level when you get that gem it like funnels you. No, that like was super the end, fun. Or the yes. key. It funnels yes. to the end. It was really cool. And so I really like the level design. And the whole premise of this is you're trying to rescue Minnie. Surprise, surprise. Of course. But it's not Pete this time, so yeah. that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's such a perv. Can I just say, what is Pete's problem? <laughs> yeah. Why is he always snatching her? Whatever. I know. This time it was just the witch. Me. Mi yes. mi miserable? What, how do you pronounce it? Because I, I just miserable. hear miserable. Yeah. I was like, but I feel like it can't be pronounced miserable. Yeah. But you don't it get the audio. Be. You don't yeah. get the audio, so you're not it sure. Could be. But she's like the like generic witch yeah, from like totally. Snow White. She really looks she a lot like, like, like the Snow White witch. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. But, and it, this is amazing. It has just like the toy level. There's like a dessert level. There's like, and then eventually you get to the castle and it's full of illusions. No, and the illusions are actually pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes, again, there's like a wall that mm -hmm. you can just walk right through and go over yeah. and get some more gems or some mm -hmm. more items. And mm -hmm. my favorite part was when you could turn the whole screen upside down. Yeah. And then, of course, you're playing upside mm -hmm. down, jumping over guys. It's really yeah. cool. And kind of, I don't want to say first of its kind, but like it was new back then. That yeah. was new, cool stuff. We were so used to staying on one level and kind of side scrolling, but Mickey's all over the screen in this yeah. game. It's really cool. You get that like level flip and you're like, 
oh damn that's exactly that's exactly <laughs> yeah, what happened they totally simpy the night it. like <laughs> even though simpy the night was like not out yet no but, but still what up oh so simpy knight stole it from castle of illusion mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> stole my <Yes>. heart <laughs> it's a really great game yeah it's awesome and with that, we're going to go into the last beer. I'm ready. And this is our, spoilers, Aladdin beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. Yep. She just did it. Yep. So this is Cloudberries. And because you're in the clouds, it's a stretch, but you know what? Whatever. We're going to take it. It's by Gigantic Brewing Company. It's Cloudberries Hazy IPA. It is, of course, bottled and brewed by Gig- Gigant- Gigantic Brewing Company in Portland, Oregon. It's a gigantic yeah. word for Kinsey. <laughs> gigantic. <sighs> which I actually went to when I was down there for a PRG thing, and it was awesome. And I love the pink bottle. It's really cute. Pink bottle. It's really cute. It is 7.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah. That's 2% <laughs> more than the last <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. So, travel through the clouds with us to a place so fruity, you'll wonder how you got there with hops alone. Sit back, relax, and enjoy where the mosaic and experimental 527 hops take you. We're going to a whole new world. Whoa, she did it. I did not know that was coming. That's really good. I was going to say, like, it's kind of like how things change when you go into the genie's lamp, you know, and you're living down there in the Cave of Wonders having fun. But no, she took it totally someplace else. (laughs) Smells fruity. It's very fruity. Yeah, Tone, smells, not at all like the first one. Yeah, fruity and citrusy. It definitely has <laughs> that like <clears throat> juicy IPA thing that's all the craze right now. So it has a lot of body. It's like, how you doing? It's got. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> This one is a lot heavier than the last one. Is yeah. that right? Okay. Yeah. That's, it, it that's feels... what body is. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so this one is thick. Yeah. <laughs> if we're talking body. This um, is it's, it's heavy. beer. It's a lot heavier than the last one. Um, the last one was kind of crisp and light and refreshing. I don't want to say it was comparable to a cider, but for me, a cider person, mm-hmm. it was more in that side on the scale, right? This yeah. one is a lot heavier. I can, mm-hmm. I can taste the fruit. I don't know. Is it apricot? I'm not sure what that fruit was. It's... Cloudberries. What the hell is a cloudberry? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it actually smells good. It has a really good aroma. Mm-hmm. That, but for me, again, not not a, not a someone who is yet a beer person, but I am working on You're it, okay? You're such a trooper. I'm really trying, Kinsey, because every time we go places, everywhere, she's like, try this, try this, try this. I'm like, I'll just have a water. Yeah. You know, we go to all these breweries. Okay. <laughs> One more sip. Mm. It's not for me. But we did find one that I liked, so I feel like we're winning. We're winning. We're winning. All right. And the last game, which you totally already know. Spoiler (laughs) alert. Way to go. Is Aladdin. And we got a boo here to help us with that. Yes. Retro games, retro plushies. He's so cute, but weird. Like super weird. He's a little creepy, but in a good boo kind of way. Like in a really good way. I like his face. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and obviously we're talking about the Genesis version. Uh, oh, a hundred percent. We're yeah. talking about the Genesis version. And there are some really mm. significant differences between yeah. the Genesis version and the one that came out for the Super Nintendo. Like yeah. pretty big deals. Yeah. Yes. And the Genesis version had like Disney animators working on it. And Absolutely. it just was so beautiful. Well, this, this game came out in 1993. So again, right on the coattails of the game, <laughs> excuse me, of the movie, Fantastic mm-hmm. movie. The movie did very well in theaters. The game did super well. Again, this is in, I'm pretty sure, like the top three best selling Genesis games of all time. Again, yeah, I, you it's know, really high it's up really there. high up there. It's a fantastic mm-hmm. game. So, like Lion King, it mm-hmm. also has 10 levels and they had source material, but again, they had to fill in a few parts. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, the very beginning of this game is so cool. You're just like in the Agrabah marketplace. The guards are coming after you. Everybody's yelling, Street Rat. Okay, maybe not, but almost. <laughs> It's super you cool. You can feel it. You They're can feel it. it but yeah. it, it feels like that first scene in the movie where mm-hmm. Aladdin is running around. You know what I mean? Um, you're bouncing on poles. You're jumping back and forth from window to window. It's super cool. It plays really well. Mm-hmm. And it looks amazing. Once again, Sega just... They had the, the graphics capability to make a Disney game feel like a Disney movie. Yeah. In my opinion. And the music. Oh, the music remix music. Yeah. 
so good. It was fantastic. It was. And it was just one of those mm-hmm. games, because I was a Genesis kid. So Me I, too. Me too. I, you know, I didn't have a Super Nintendo growing up. And it was just so wonderful. Because I was coming off, you know, the high of the movie, and then I played the game, and I was just like, God, this yeah. is so good. And it's, you know, still reviewed really well. It's totally. And I think in 1993, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was EGM's top, th- in the top three, or top, oh, I think it was EGM's top. Genesis game of 1993. I mean, honestly, it might have been because this game had... Pulling that fact out of my ass. Do it! (laughs) I mean, fact check, fact check. No, she does not. But she might. I don't know. All I know is the game does so many things right. Mm -hmm. So, not only does it stay really close to the source material, Mm -hmm. especially through the first seven levels. I mean, it's just, boom, spot on. Like, the pacing is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. The music is fantastic. And, again, you do really feel like you're you're getting that full movie experience. Yeah. The remix songs are fantastic. The bonuses are cute. You're hunting for little genie heads mm-hmm. so that you can pull the little genie slot machine and get, you know, like, more lives and more yeah. gems. There's also you're, a boo bonus. There's a boo bonuses. So he's got his little, sh- you know, his little sword, mm-hmm. and pots are falling from the ceiling, and he's running around trying to avoid them. Mm-hmm. And the longer you go, the mm-hmm. more gems you get. It's mm-hmm. so fun. And I just love games that have, like, even... This is like a platformer, but it has those bonus levels in between that break up totally. the gameplay. And I just really like it when games do that. Me too. And they didn't do it as much back then. They still no, did it, but... Lion, Lion King, you know, a lot of these games didn't yeah. have that. And it just does add that replay value. Mm-hmm. Um, this game, you know, you probably could beat it in 30 or 45 minutes if you know exactly what you're trying to do. But there are some pretty challenging levels. I couldn't. <laughs> well, again, so... In the days of mom is telling you when you have to go to bed and you have to turn the, you know, you have to turn mm-hmm. the system off. I never got past the, um, the rug ride level where oh, you are trying, trying to, to escape yeah. from the cave of wonders. There's lava everywhere and Jeannie's hands will pop up and tell you to go up or to go down to try to avoid these mm-hmm. giant boulders and all of these like waves of lava that are coming and stuff like that. And again, it's very stressful. Yeah. It's very challenging. <laughs> if you get past that, that is when the source material dips a little bit into like, oh, what do we think this, the Sultan's like, Palace the looks Sultan's like and stuff? Dungeon weird area. Yeah. 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 It's like kind of like, ah, eh, we're a little bit off. But still, super fun, mm-hmm. really rewarding and enjoying if you can mm-hmm. make it through. You yeah. Know, make it that far. Get now with game far. facts, yeah. we can handle it. Yeah. But back then we were on our own. Oh, totally. <laughs> I mean, we had like hints in like magazines, but that was really yes. it. And we were on our own. But that was part of, like, the amazingness of, like, this video is it's so stemmed on nostalgia. Absolutely. That it's just so fun to talk about, even if, you know, back in the day we didn't beat it or whatever. Doesn't you know. matter, though. It doesn't you matter. still enjoyed it. Even when you don't beat a game like that, I can, you know, we look back and we think back and we feel mm-hmm. really excited about it. And as Disneyland lovers, we also really appreciate the extra time and effort that the mm-hmm. developers put in. Like yeah. when you're in Jafar's dungeon, uh, well, the Sultan's dungeon, yeah. but when you're in the dungeon, some of the like skeletons have Mickey Mouse ears on their heads. Mm-hmm. And there's a part where some of the pillars and columns have like goofy on them. It's mm-hmm. really cool that yeah. they throw that kind of stuff in because it does make a difference especially to disney nerds like us like it really makes a difference we see those disney easter eggs we love them keep doing you disney keep doing you in 1993 but (laughs) Uh, sure you know we're still going back (laughs) we're still going back yeah and so those are our top five disney games and i think what we're gonna do we were talking about this now we have to because we're telling people yeah uh, you're telling she kind of just committed me to something this is our top five retro disney games and i want to try to put one together for newer disney games i think that would be really cool because a lot of the newer ones are good but they're not gonna knock anything no they're not gonna knock anything off this list but it it is fun to kind of draw that line between Mm -hmm. retro games what was available then what we could do and then what was done after yeah it's really exciting because there's a lot of material i mean you have to sift through some pretty bad stuff okay (laughs) but but we've got a pretty good idea of what an awesome next top five would be and where can people find you on the internet if you want to find me, and I don't know why you would, <laughs> but I am on Twitter and on Instagram at Carly Kills It. I like to do DIYs and I like to post my like amiibo collection yeah. and all my Disney crap. So if you're interested <laughs> in like cute little photos of not a whole lot, that's what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> And you can find me at Kinzilla, K-I-N-S-Z-I-L-L-A, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs>